Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you this prom makeup look because I'm very much aware that prom time is coming up. I wanted to show you guys a makeup look that was fresh, glamorous, still prom appropriate and classy and it's not too much. And this can also be like for a special occasion. Makeup, which is good on like a kalomra, szeretnéd jól megcsinálni a sminkedet, akkor... If you guys want to know how to do this makeup look, then just keep watching. To start, we are going to be bronzing the body. I did this step because I personally look more alive and healthy as I have dark hair and eyes and sometimes that can wash out my skin. This step is totally up to you, but for a special occasion, I'd recommend it. This tanner I used is instant, so it takes a few minutes to dry. Then onto the face. For the foundation and all the face products to stick to the skin and lay nicely, we are going to use a moisturizer first. Next step, face base. I'm trying out this new hypoallergenic foundation. I mean, how amazing does this sound for people who are suffering with spring hay fever and allergies? I feel it, babe. For maximum coverage, first I'm painting on the foundation generously right before I blend it into my skin with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. This beauty sponge is wet at this time by the way. If you want to find out why it's important to wet beauty sponges, then click on the side note now. This hypoallergenic concealer is what I'm using on my eyelids to act as an eyeshadow base. What am I doing with my face? I didn't notice I was doing it until I was watching this footage back and... Okay, let me shut up. Next clip. Using this Catrice translucent powder, I'm going to set the concealer on my eyelids using the same beauty sponge. This step will allow the eyeshadows to be more vibrant on the eyes and stay in place all night long. As for eyeshadows, my first color is this bright orange with a fluffy blending brush. The Nudes, my favorite eyeshadow palette. Love it so much, okay, calm down. My next eyeshadow of choice is this dark brown that we are concentrating on the outer half of the eye. Use the edge of a tube, credit card, business card that will help create this precise line here. Then just go back to our first blending brush and just add some more orange to the edges of that dark brown. Scraping off the top layer of an eyeshadow will create a pigment that will show up much more vibrantly on the eyes. The key is to just wet your brush before picking up this scraped off eyeshadow, then apply it to your lids and BAM! And just as a by the way, people are sleeping around me right now. Well, not in my room, but you know, in the house. So I gotta keep my voice down. But anyways, back to the makeup. I am also building up this orange color and going back with a blending brush to marry the colors together. When creating a wing, you could see that I make my way from in like little strokes from the end of my eye going in towards the inner corner of my eye. So I don't make my wing in one continuous line, I make it with small little strokes to perfect it. To accentuate my eyebrows, I'm taking the dark brown shade from this Maybelline palette and I'm going to fill in any sparse areas. Okay, and now onto the face. I'm taking the hypoallergenic concealer in the lightest shade and applying it under my eyes before blending it out with a beauty blender, the same one that we used on our face. Now. 
And now I'm setting this concealer with the baking method, which is basically taking your wet beauty sponge and putting it into the Catrice translucent powder and pouncing it heavily under my eye, so where I applied the concealer. And then I'm going to leave that white powder there for a second. If you have dry skin, I wouldn't recommend doing this method, but because I have more oily skin in warm weather times, I have to do this so that my makeup won't run on my face. And now I'm going to use some cut up fake lashes and I'm going to perform lash surgery as you will see in a minute. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a safe landing. Thank you for flying with Lash Airlines. Okay, hardest part is done. The eyes, the lashes. Now comes the easy part, which is the face. I'm dusting away this powder and just blending it in with the rest of my face. And then I will add some color into my face once again with this contour and highlight palette from Makeup Revolution. Love this palette so so much as you can see so as i was recording this the sun actually appeared out of nowhere and i was like why because it was messing up with my lights but now i'm going to use some blush on my cheeks and i know it looks disgusting but i just love it so much it's like this peachy colored oh i love it would would you and now for some extra bling bling on your face i'm using this highlighter from makeup revolution it's called gold lights i believe and i'm using my wet beauty sponge that i used for my foundation and concealer and just dabbing it on my cheeks and i like using a sponge because it looks less powdery on the face and i'm just dusting off any excess and blending it into my skin with a fluffy brush <laughs> Okay, don't worry, we're getting towards the end, but to open up my eyes, I'm using a white eyeliner into my waterline. So I'm starting out with the orange on my lower eyelash lines. And then taking the same dark brown, I'm going to put it on the edge of my lower eyelashes. As a final, final touch, I promise this is the last thing, is some glitter and I'm going to put it in my inner corners of my eyes. And now that the eyes are complete, I'm just going to throw on a lip liner. This is from Rimmel, I believe, and then a Berry M Cosmetics peach lipstick to top off this peach toned vibe that we're going to. finished with the makeup thank you so much for watching and make sure to come back for more videos and subscribe if you like this channel bye I feel it,